wanted to chat to you now is about water. So Jason's already mentioned that what we recommend is drinking one liter for every 25 kgs of body weight. So I'm not gonna you know, go over that too much. What I am gonna chat to you about is try not to drink your calories. And what I mean by this is, like, if you have a look here, put this slide in just so you could kind of have a look in, you know, standard glass of orange juice, you're looking at 110 calories. And um, I can assure you all of that is from sugar. You've got something that's cle very cleverly turned around here, but I'm going to say that it's a Starbucks coffee, a mocha. So it's a coffee made on milk with chocolate. You're looking at anywhere upwards from 400. I think that's been a bit generous, to be honest. Um, me and Jay were down there the other day and I saw coffee, it's like a frappuccino, blueberry cheesecake or something like that and it was 560 calories, it's insane. You have a, just a regular Coke, you know, anywhere upwards of 250 to 300 and so on. Your standard glass of beer there, you know, 150 calories, probably being a bit generous as well, in or around, okay? The reason that we don't want you to drink your calories is kind of for two. One, you don't get any sense of satisfaction. You haven't eaten anything. So you, you, don't, you don't feel full or satiety, we call it. And um, also mindless. So we kind of, we can drink them and just forget. You don't even know that you're taking those calories in. So then that can very easily throw you over what you should be taking in for that day. Or if you were to look at your total week. Often the liquid calories is, you know, what we forget and we say we don't eat too much and you, you, you might not, but then we're not looking at, you know, the liquid calories or the couples of sugars in your coffee and things like that. Smoothies as well, I suppose it's worth mentioning. You know, the Nutribullet is great for getting green veg and if you're on the run, just blending it up. But we need to be careful with what we put in it because you bump those calories up pretty quick if you're throwing avocado in or nut butters. And you're drinking them so you don't even get it, the satisfaction of eating them. So look, if you need any help with that, just ask one of the coaches. Here's the benefits then um, of water. So I just stuck this in. So you could see kind of, you should be drinking water throughout the day. Again, just going back to that one liter per 25 kg of body weight. And here is just some of the benefits, not all of them. So it increases energy, helps with your metabolism, so suggesting your food, promotes weight loss. We often um, confuse thirst with being hungry. Um, it reduces fatigue, boosts productivity, helps clear your skin, helps your immune system, fuels muscles, cushions joints or helps lubricate them, and then it also helps flush you out. So if you're drinking lots of water, you're removing kind of toxins from the body. Okay, hope that makes sense. Thanks, guys.